Welcome to Health Bulletin. Across the globe, we've tracked the emergence of mysterious illnesses, unusual health phenomena, and groundbreaking medical discoveries. But guess what? There's so much more to explore and we don't want you to miss a single update. In a recent update from the World Health Organization, a concerning outbreak of parrot fever caused by the bacterium Chlamydia sitachi has resulted in five fatalities across Europe. This infection, often originating from both wild and domestic birds, has seen a surge in cases in Austria, Denmark, Germany, Sweden, and the Netherlands from late 2023 into 2024. The US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention highlights that human infections primarily occur through contact with infected birds' secretions, posing significant risks to individuals working closely with birds, such as poultry workers, veterinarians, and pet bird enthusiasts as well as gardeners in regions where the bacterium is prevalent among the native bird populations. In response to this outbreak, the affected countries are diligently investigating the exposures linked to these cases and conducting analyses on samples collected from wild birds initially intended for avian influenza tests. Despite the gravity of the situation, the WHO assesses the overall risk to public health as low at this stage. The organization remains vigilant continuing to monitor the developments of this outbreak closely. Before we proceed, please hit that subscribe button and join our Health Bulletin community. Why? Because subscribing not only supports the channel, but also ensures you're always in the loop with the latest health trends, news and tips that matter to you. Plus, it's completely free. Parrot fever, also known as psittacosis, is a disease that can spread among birds, particularly in conditions of close contact or confined spaces. Notably, not all birds manifest visible symptoms, but changes in behavior are common among those infected. Symptoms in birds include a decrease in appetite, lethargy, weight loss, diarrhea with yellowish droppings, ocular discharge, and respiratory difficulties. It's crucial to understand that parrot fever is zoonotic, meaning it can be transmitted from birds to humans. The primary mode of transmission to humans is through inhalation of airborne dust, containing bacteria from infected bird droppings and respiratory secretions. Direct contact with birds can also facilitate the spread of the infection. Individuals who are frequently in contact with birds, such as pet owners, pet shop employees, poultry farm workers and veterinarians, are at a heightened risk. To mitigate the risk of transmission, it is advised that newly acquired birds or those showing symptoms be examined by a veterinarian specializing in avian health Additionally, care should be taken when cleaning and refilling bird feeders, especially in areas known to be affected by outbreaks. It's important to note that transmission of the bacteria through the cooking or consumption of poultry has not been observed. Despite the potential for zoonotic transmission, the risk of a widespread human outbreak is considered low as the disease is not easily transmitted from person to person. Typically, Human cases lead to small localized outbreaks, often linked to exposure to pet or wild birds. Symptoms in humans resemble those of the flu, including fever, headache, cough, muscle pain, and fatigue, and can progress to more severe conditions such as pneumonia if not treated. Since December 2013, there have been reports of increased human cases of parrot fever in European countries, with some instances proving fatal. Diagnosis involves collecting samples from the patient such as phlegm, blood, or nasal throat cultures. Treatment usually involves antibiotics, which are effective in alleviating symptoms and treating the infection, with most individuals making a full recovery. However, in rare cases, complications can arise. Given the potential severity of the disease, individuals who have been in contact with wild or pet birds and are experiencing symptoms consistent with parrot fever are strongly encouraged to seek medical evaluation and treatment. Thanks for watching Your Health, Our Mission. Remember, staying informed is the first step towards a healthier life. So what are you waiting for? Hit that like and subscribe button, and let's make health a priority together. See you in the next video.